Alright, so, hey YouTube, uh, this is Starhooper123, uh, you can see my retake in the background, climbing around in the cage, I'll, I just walk it, so, I'm gonna do a little care sheet kind of thing on these retakes, so, let's start with the cage, um, the setup, it, it persists, persists of, um, a large heat dome, reflector, um, uh, heat emitter, ceramic heat emitter, uh, I just put a fish tank light on here, like a fish, fish light, for, that's good, um, and inside, here, here, I have his little climbing log, over there, uh, you can see, it. it's like a liter, maybe a little more, uh, water bowl, because they like to soak, Maybe a little big for this guy, because this is just a, a baby, juvenile. Um, here's the log that he sometimes likes to hide under, but I put some uh, heat or uh, terrarium moss behind it uh, against the cage, so he, it can be nice and humid in there. Um, I have, it, you can barely see it, but I have one heat uh, temperature gauge there. So I have a temperature temperature gauge there. I have the uh, humidity, uh, uh, humidity, I think it's hydrometer or something, uh, little thing there. And then on the other side, for the cold side, which is the side with the water bowl, uh, I have another heat, um, another heat thing. So on your hot side, you're going to want to average about uh, around 90, around, around 90, uh, maybe a little higher, um, than 90, um, so, yeah, um, yeah, uh, so, yeah, I just checked my email, but, um, what the hell, okay, so, um, where was I? The warm side should be 90, uh, higher, high 90s. Um, the cold side should be around 75 to 80 degrees. Uh, 80 might be a little too hot. Um, but you want somewhere in their cage where they can escape to, uh, from the heat. If, imagine if you're stuck in a cage like this and it's all hot like like it's all 90 degrees or it's all 100 degrees and you have no way to cool off well that's kind of how they feel I mean granted they like the heat but um, yeah so my my actual aquarium cage it's a reptile cage thought as a reptile cage um, this is a 40 gallon uh, sliding locking lid for the terrarium lock right there. Um, it's got two latches near the back where you can open it. Uh, but I gotta start with this side most of the time because it's kind of hard to open it. Um, so, a few handling tips on your pick are, well, left side. Uh, I'm just taking the precaution to move this because I don't like it when my rubber is down. But a um, few handling tips. If you dive in like that, they're they're going to be pretty uh, pissy, um, uncooperative. So what you need to do is slowly go in, grab them as far away from the head as you can, but not quite the tail. Um, and there you go, uh, yeah, so feeding, um, you can start from the be beginning with rat pups, um, I prefer large mice in the beginning because rat pups can, pups can be pretty small for rats, so I start out with, uh, large rats, large adult rats, uh, or mice, not rats, do not try to feed your baby retake large adult rats.
because that's a no no. Um, so, uh, let's see. So, what you want to feed them about once a week, um, depending on the size of the food. If you're feeding them um, medium rats, hoppers, or, well, not hoppers, hoppers, I'm not sure you're right, but if you're feeding them pinkies and stuff, not supposed to do that. You shouldn't do that. Um, I certainly, for one, do not feed mine um, pinkies. I like to feed mine larger prey. So, yeah. Um, so, a healthy retic, he's going to have good sheds a lot. You know, it's it's not easy to tell if your snake is healthy. You need to have a good reptile vet. Um, so, yeah, but I don't know. I think that retics are a good pet, not a starter. You want to get other, you want to get experience with other sorts of snakes that get large, not this large, but well, not as large as 20 foot, but uh, you want to um, start with the ball pythons, the children's pythons, the spotted pythons, maybe rainbow uh, python, or the, yeah, I forgot what they're called, but they're really cool. Um, so I actually have my um, <clears throat> Asian vine snake over there. There's his hum humidifier and his heat glow, uh, it glows in the dark when there's no light going, um, but yeah, so what he eats is these, uh, green anoles, but they crap all over the side of the cage, because they like to hang out on the cage, uh, so I got them a little plant, so they, these things are, um, not very hard to care for, I mean, they'll eat crickets, they eat crickets, so yeah, but, so, I prefer frozen thawed mice because if you feed live, you risk your animal being hurt, and you don't want that. Uh, you never leave your animal in the cage overnight. Your uh, your feeder. I don't feed in my cage. Um, yeah. So sorry, I was just looking at something, but. So, what I'm trying to get through to you guys is, they're not a beginner, okay? This, these snakes cost a lot. I mean, so, yeah, but I'm going to have to continue on a different video because I'm on my webcam. Um, so, yeah. Um, post, comment, subscribe, whatever. Uh, so, you guys, uh, they... You end up getting a retic. Don't feed it live. Just if they if they have to, if you can't get them to eat anything else, I understand. But yep, bye.